Blonde. I said blonde. Did I say blonde? I did say blonde. You just have to do it. And this new wig that I just opened up is from Beltress. The Cafe Collection. Her name is Amaretto. And she's in the color Roca Margarita Blonde. Well, let me just say that I'm in love with Beltress. I love their styles. I love their lace fronts. I love their colors. And so just like Shakerado that I did a couple of months ago, this one got my attention. Um, and I thought, all right, I liked the Roca Margarita Blonde. I'm going to try her again. And I love it. There's just enough silver in here that I feel like I can get away with it for my own color palette. Now, let's get acquainted with Amaretto. So she is, as I said, from the Cafe Collection. She has heat-friendly fibers. It was a new color for 2020. She's like a wind-blown, day-at-the-beach, tousled, tousled hair. On, she feels very comfortable. I have an average to large head. Um, she doesn't feel like she's riding up the back of my head. She's sitting comfortably underneath the ponytail. Uh, we'll talk about that lace front in a moment. She is a silver blonde ash with um, blonde highlights and I guess you would call it a pale blonde. A pale blonde with, with some silver highlights. She is kind of ashy in tone, which makes me surprised that I liked her, but I do. I do. I think um, if you can put a little bit of, I'm, I have a lot of pink in my skin, but if, if you don't have a lot of pink in your skin, you certainly can put some pink in your skin with just a little bit of uh, contouring and some blush. She is not layered. She's pretty much all one length. It's just that those strands, as you can see, are very, they're all wavy, but they're all about the same length. I'd actually love her if she was even a little bit longer. I think she'd be beautiful. And then she's got, of course, these face framing, which we love, face framing waves. Um, but again, those pieces are all the same length, pretty much as the rest, as the rest of the wig. She is lace front, and she does have a monofilament a side part. I've got her parted on the left. She can go over to the right. She is temple to temple. She she has ear tabs. They're kind of tiny, um, but they do lay nice and flat next to the head. And she's got those bra strap type of adjusters. You'll see when I show you the cap in, in a little bit. She feels really really nice she doesn't feel too heavy she doesn't feel too bulky I don't feel too much permatease there's a tiny bit of permatease so if you don't like permatease you, you should be okay with this wig if you love big hair you probably should still be okay with this wig because she would be a wig that you would wear on a day that you don't want to have such a big hair maybe you're just running out to the store or just going out for lunch or something so, or even, I think you could even wear her for work. Now, let's take a close look at this um, at this lace front. There's my widow's peak right there. You almost can't even see where the boundary is from the wig. I mean, as I've said before, you would have to get right on top of somebody. And I am looking straight ahead into my mirror, and I can't see. I can't see the end of that of, of that lace. Beautifully done. Beautifully, beautifully done. But I think the great thing is you really don't even have to comb her. I mean, you could comb her if you wanted to, but why bother? Uh, for me, you could see that I've got those. My white is showing. But again, I didn't really anchor it well. I probably would use a little bit of it stays right there so this doesn't lift. Or I might pull my own bio hair out and then do a little beachy wave in my own bio hair, you know, to match, 
to match this and then I don't have to worry when the wind blows. So I could certainly do that on, on both sides. So if you have hair, you could do that. And I would just have to take a curling iron and just curl it right there on both sides. And that would be it. And then just anchor her. Maybe a little bit of it stays here just to make me feel more comfortable. But you know, I think she's very, very believable. And I think she's very, very pretty. Let's take her outside, have a look. Now, I don't know what your eye sees. But my eye sees more light colors. And I don't know whether that's because she's so long. Because we do know when fibers are long or curly or wavy or, they're, they'll, or short, they will bounce light much differently um, than each other. So, But this is the exact same color. And I would say that it's it's close enough. But honestly, I just I honestly can't believe that I have anything on my head that has blonde in it. So if you're out there and you're like me and you're just looking for silver white and you're you're kind of you've kind of been stuck is not the right word, comfortable, and you've been just comfortable there. I would highly recommend that you just branch out just a little bit. I mean, I don't ever see myself doing reds or brunettes, certainly never anything dark brunette. I always see myself as doing something in this family of silver, gray, white, or something maybe in the blonde family that still presents that has a lot of the lighter colors in it. So that helps us soften, soften our own look. I hope that makes sense. Go ahead and look back at my Shakerado review, and then I think you'll see that um, these are very similar, and I will put a graphic in there and do a couple of side-by-side -side comparisons mm -hmm. for you. And then the very last thing that I want to do for you is show Shakerado as compared to Amaretto. So you can see, we'll hold them up side by side. And then I'll also show you the inside of the cap. You really hardly can tell where one starts and the other one ends, right? And remember, I did not comb her. All I did, all I did was as she came out of the box, I just fluffed her up a little bit like that, got her away from the root. I didn't even shake her. I just I just put her on my head. Now I will say that um, even though Beltress fits an average to large better than Noriko, which for me is is petite. Well Noriko People who have petite heads are more comfortable with Noriko. Noriko fits me really tight. And even Jean Renault, some of her styles fit me tight, uncomfortably tight. Uh, and this one, um, she is on me. She's starting to ride back just a tiny bit. But I don't have anything underneath to secure her. I do have the wig cap. And whenever I put a wig cap, the wig cap just starts sliding back. So... I didn't anchor her really like I normally would, but she doesn't feel uncomfortable. So if you're average or average to large, I think that you'll be okay with this wig. Okay, let's take a look at the inside of Amaretto. First thing we see is she is open wefted. Lots of airspace. She has covered ear tabs and a very small 
piece of metal for the ear tab stays. Not too much at all. She's got the bra strap like adjusters, which I'm not crazy about. But nonetheless, there they are. She has the extended covered nape, covered in velvet. She, of course, has that gorgeous lace front with the monofilament left side parting. You have a little bit of wiggle room in there, but for the most part, she parts on the left and sweeps to the right. I actually love these little flyaway hairs because they look very realistic to me. And I'm thinking of one of my favorite uh, anchors on television, news anchors. And I always notice she's kind of got like baby fine hairs. I wonder if she's wearing a wig. Now I'm wondering because that's exactly what it looks, looks like. Amazing. And you know what? If you're new to wigs, and even if you're not new to wigs, I think what has to happen is you just have to do it. You just have to put it on your head, become comfortable, wear it to the grocery store, just make it your own. It's, 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 it's becoming fun. It really, it's just wonderful to put something on your head and not have to worry about your hair. Stick it on in the morning, take it off at night, and you're done. Your hair will always look good and great no matter where you go. The only negative thing that I ever have to say about wigs is that for me, since I run very warm, I always feel like I've got a hat on my head. And that could just be because I'm still new in the sense that I've just gotten used to wearing them more than not wearing them, if that makes any sense. But it is very liberating. It really is. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon, subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And until next time, look for the silver lining, everybody.